Hello and welcome to my next podcast. My name is Ulina and I'm an actor and I live in Norway. In this video I'm going to be making the Citrus Tractor from start to finish and hopefully you guys can knit with me throughout this project. Let's get to it. For the Citrus Tractor I'm going to be using Drops Flora together with Drops Kid Silk, both in the color denim blue, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm going to be double stranding uh, Drops Flora together with one strand of uh, Drops Kid Silk and uh, I hope this will hit gauge because as always I have not made a swatch before starting this project. Um, I'm really excited to be starting this project because uh, this sweater, I've wanted this sweater for maybe a year now and I've already made both the Secret Sweater Man and the Secret Sweater Junior as secret Christmas gifts for both my fiancé and son. So when my Secret Sweater uh, will be done, we will all have matching ones and <laughs> my dream of having matching Secret Sweaters will finally come true. Uh, however, this project will have to be on the back burner for some time as I still have quite a few Christmas presents to make and some other projects that have to take priority. Uh, but I just can't wait any longer to cast it on, so it will just have to be my side project uh, for now. But yeah, let's get knitting. Hello, um, hi, I think it's been about four days now since my last update, it's December 4th now, uh, and this is my progress, uh, I'm finally finished with the ribbing of the neck, and now I'm ready to fold that down and knit it together, uh, really happy to be finished with the ribbing. Uh, I feel like ribbing takes so long and especially when you're supposed to do it for this long because I feel like each row of ribbing barely adds anything lengthwise uh, and especially now since I've only been able to knit uh, one row here and there it's been snailing a lot really long and uh, I feel when I work on something and I'm not really able to work on it that much and I don't really see any progress from day to day. Uh, I struggle very much with uh, being motivated and actually wanting to pick it up if uh, I know or I feel like I'm not getting anywhere with it. So now I'm really happy to be uh, finished with the ribbing part and uh, ready to start on the yoke. Uh, and be able to knit in stockinette and even uh, on a size on a bigger size needle so that will move a bit faster also uh, i really love uh, german short rows and that's what's next uh, so i'm really excited to uh, get started with that um, i'm also on my last christmas present now so uh, very soon I will be able to work a lot more on the zipper sweater, so looking for forward to that and I, I'm hoping I might actually be able to get it done in 2022. But uh, now I'm gonna stop talking here so I can actually get in some knitting time on this.
Hi, I'm back for another update. I've gotten quite far since last time. I really haven't been able to put it down, even though I really should. Um, as you can see, uh, I've gotten quite far on the arms and I have joined in the round uh, a few rows ago. I still have a few increases to do here before separating the arms from the body and then just working on the body but <laughs> I'm really hoping I can put it away a while now because I still have uh, loads of Christmas presents and other things to do before Christmas but so far really happy with this I also am happy to report that I did hit gauge and I think the yarns are working together really beautifully I'm really happy that the mohair is darkening the flora a bit and muting it as you can see the flora is quite a bit lighter than the finished fabric uh, and also since the flora is a bit lighter and the mohair is a bit darker um, there are some lighter and some darker spots to the fabric uh, and I think that makes the fabric come a bit more uh, alive and I really enjoy that opposed to just one solid color all, all around so yeah I'm really excited about this can't wait to use it but also hope that I'm uh, able to focus on some other things a bit now oh. yeah that was my update uh, catch you in the next one Hi and welcome to the last update for my zipper sweater. Uh, since the last thing you saw from it, it's all done. Uh, once I was finished making all the Christmas presents and all the Christmas preparations, I got really excited to have this finished. Uh, so I forgot to film any of it. But yeah, I've knit two uh, arms now, obviously, and I've fixed the zipper and sewn that in. I have not uh, yet uh, washed or blocked it because I was just too excited to start wearing it because it's so soft and so warm and just I really love the color but I will probably have to wash and block it sometime soon so the zipper will uh, fit even better um, yeah uh, I was just so excited to finish it I just forgot this whole project with filming it and everything because I just wanted it done um, and yeah I'm really loving it now that it is done I think it's one of the favorite sweaters I made in 2022 um, and now that mine is finally done my whole family has matching zipper sweaters so I hope we will be able to wear them together sometime and maybe take some pictures or something if we do manage to do that those pictures those pictures will probably end up on my Instagram. Uh, but yeah, this is now finished and I am going to move on to the next project. See you hopefully in the next video.